In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some tips on working with 3D titles in the new 365 interface. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you a bit about the features of this tool. I have this video on track number one. It's an aerial shot, and it's basically the shot of vehicles on a highway in a very pretty scene. So what we're going to do is use it to promote traveling in Missouri. So first thing I want to do is put a title on this. So I go to my title room, and I'm going to be in the plain text subcategory and choose default 3D. Drag that down, put it in track number two, just a little bit after the start of the clip and change the duration to match my clip. Now with that selected, I'm going to click on the edit button above the timeline. It gets me into my title editor and then I'm going to click on the advanced button because I want to do some advanced editing with my 3D title. Now when you look at your title, you see several features. So some of these panels might be closed like this. So if you don't see them, just open them up. We're going to use both rotation settings and texture settings. So I have my title and I want to do some things with it. When I click on it, it will turn it into a normal looking title in general. We'll just call this Visit Missouri and I can click away from it. I'll click back on it and let's change the size so you can see better for this example. I have to make sure I have it selected. We'll change the size to 36. Now you notice when we're looking at this title that we have a, a white and then a shadow depth. Let's look at some of these tools. First one is extrusion. Extrusion is the area in which the title looks deep. And that's this value here. Now to see it best, we're going to change the Y rotation. The default is 20. If I turn it back to, and type over that as zero, you basically don't see much at all. But if I take the Y rotation value and I turn it to the right, you're going to see the, the face of the letter is bright and the extrusion is dark. At least it starts out dark. And then it turns more of a gray in the middle. Now if I take the value and turn it to the left and negative, you're going to see the face gets darker and the extrusion gets lighter. So what you choose depends on whether you want to spin it to the right or spin it to the left. That's how it will affect the shadows on the 3D. Now the extrusion you can see very clearly here, we're going to take that value and we're going to make it either huge, which I don't recommend, or a little bit more modest. And if you want to mod modify the extrusion value slightly, just use the up and down arrows. I encourage you to do that. It gives you a little bit more careful control over that value. So let's take the Y rotation here and see what we want to do. That might look pretty good. Let's take it and move it down a bit. And let's look at the face. Now we have several different options when it comes to the face of the letters. The default color is white. So you can click on that color block and change it to any color you prefer. Let's change it, say, to a red. There you have a very contrasting red. You also have these texture settings. The default is no texture. Watch what happens when I add a texture. Let's take this one that looks like wood and click on that. And it's a rather odd combination. Let's look at bricks. Let's look at this silver one. Those usually don't work out well, partly because of my color. So if I'm going to use a texture, I like to take my color setting, turn it to white. Now I get a little bit better look at the actual colors that I'm using for texture. So if you want to use a texture, I recommend you do a white. It gives you uh, usually a better bit of a combination. I'm going to turn the texture off and show you other options. Besides using a general color, you can click on the eyedropper to the right. That will open up this screen. And you can select any color from the entire screen, the background. I'll click this for the highway, click on OK, and now we have that color. I could pick any color I like. 
But what I'm going to do is just pick one that I think is nice contrast. Now let's take something in the orange range. Okay, that looks pretty good. Should I darken it a little, just a little bit more? So this is how you mess with the shadows to get a nice contrast. I'll click on that and I've got my Visit Missouri. So this is nice. It's just about what I want, but now I want to animate it. So we do have animation for 3D as well. I'll click on the animation tab at the top. And we have a host of selections. Now we have an in and out. I don't want an in animation. Let's do an out animation. I want my out animation to be a simple 3D fade. So I'll click on that. I want it to stop about when these trucks are here on the screen. So we're going to change the duration about here. And let's see what that looks like when we stop it and play it. I'm going to visit Missouri. And I want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the vehicles. It fades away. And now it will fade out just before the vehicles come down the road. The other thing you can do, which is interesting, is you can take that and you can add another title. I can click the T in the upper right corner above the preview screen or double click anywhere on the previous screen and put another title. Let's do another 3D title, Fun for All. You notice it inherits the properties of the previous title. We'll take it, we'll move it up here into the sky. Let's change some properties about it. Let's uh, turn it to a a blue color, something that's a kind of a light blue. Click on OK. And we'll change the font. And we'll let's change the size a little bit, make it a little smaller. And what I want to do, I want that to begin when the other one stops. So we'll simply drag it over here and have it begin right about there. So when Missouri fades out, this one will come in. Fades out, fun for all comes in. Ah, that's not interesting enough. So let's click on this title again. And let's give this an animation. Instead, we'll give it an in animation. Let's do a 3D swing. There we go. That's pretty good. A little bit of contrast there. I'll click on OK. If you like what you've done in the previous screen, you can save it. But if we look at what we have so far, we have the Visit Missouri. And then it will fade out at an appropriate time. And then we have the Fun for All come in. So that's a simple example of one way in which you can use some of the features available with 3D title editing in CyberLink PowerDirector 365.